by the power of Pseudo-51, I summon you. Huzzah! Hey, what's up everybody, this is Muth24, and today I'm going to be doing a video game unboxing. Now this is going to be a little bit different from some of my previous ones that I've done. This is the No More Heroes 2 Desperate Struggle Hoppers Edition, which is actually a Japanese exclusive. And the reason I got this was, one, I'm a huge Suda51 nerd and a no, huge No More Heroes fan uh, in general, but two, because this is one of the few imports that I've seriously considered for quite a while. And uh, it's, it's one that I really like just because it's got a lot of little cool things about it, but it's not that expensive either. A lot of times when you get import games, they're just super expensive, and really all you're getting is the Japanese version of a game that you, are, you can get stateside, or maybe you can't get it stateside, and that's part of the reason it's jacked up so much in price. Um, I got kind of lucky and got this for a really inexpensive cost. Um, I won't say, you know, how much I spent on it, but it wasn't really all that much, and uh, I was really willing to fork it out because I love No More Heroes as much as I do. So, uh, taking a look at the slipcover box art here, you can tell just how vastly different it is from the standard American box art, and I really do like the American box art, I think it's, it's really cool, but uh, there's just something about that whole like yellow and, and like black paint splatter up there, and then the red tape and stuff. It just makes it look really cool. It actually kind of reminds me a bit of the um, Peace Walker uh, special edition that they had in Japan, where that also had, had a yellow box, and I thought that was pretty cool, too. Now, taking a look around the side of the box, we have some kanji there. Uh, just says Hopper's Edition, Marvelous Entertainment. And then we have on the back uh, sort of a description of the game itself, you got Travis and Sylvia there, uh, as well as everything that comes in this. So you get the uh, the game itself, obviously. You get a No More Heroes magazine, which has some concept art, and um, I think maybe some character bios in there, we'll get to it in a second. Uh, then we have uh, the No More Heroes 1.5 DVD, which is an explanation of what happens between the two games. Uh, I've seen a version of it online already. Uh, but this is obviously DVD format. I don't know if that one has subtitles for it. Um, I'll find that out when I uh, give it a go, but uh, it might. Because the one I watched had subtitles, but I don't know if it was fan subs or, you know, something that was already on the, the disc when they uploaded the file. And then the last thing that's also really cool is you get a uh, mini CD soundtrack. And I think that is actually just remixes of some of the tunes on, uh, on, on the actual soundtrack itself. So it's not like you get the full-blown soundtrack, but... Same thing on the other side there. So I'm going to take the plastic wrap off of this, and we will get right into it here. Oh, looks like the uh, individual discs are also wrapped, too, which is probably a good thing. All right, so I'm going to slide the cover sleeve off of there. And I'm going to use my exacto knife real quick to cut this sucker open. Just because otherwise you guys have to deal with a bunch of glare. It's probably not, uh, not what you want. So while the cover sleeve has that yellow background with the um, red tape and all that, the actual game disc is also yellow but has a little bit different artwork. There we have Sylvie in the background, Travis with uh, one of the Rose Nasty Blades. Oh, actually, both of the Rose Nasty Blades. I see the ones going that way. Um, and then Shinobu down on the bottom, which is kind of cool. Uh, I also like the fact that this is sort of a, a simple yet really catchy uh, art style on the front there. You know, that again, that splatter paint look. It's pretty cool. Now on the side there, again, there's the kanji text. And the back is basically the same as what you have on the... Uh, cover sleeve there, except for the only difference is that instead of showing off the uh, mini CD and, and the comic and all that, uh, it shows the three characters you can play as, which are Travis, Shinobu, and Henry. Also, there's something here that I noticed on the back of the cover sleeve. I don't read uh, Japanese kanji myself, but it says something sexy 200%! Exclamation point at the end. So, that's kind of funny. Now, as for the... Uh 
DVD and CD set. Those also come in a like video game CD type case. And it looks like they have, yes, they have a uh, track listing on the back of this. And they are, in fact, all remixes. I've heard some of these online uh, before people have uploaded them to, to YouTube and stuff. Uh, but there's the front of that. Again, kind of got the yellow and, and some orange here um, for the cover of this DVD CD case. Not quite as exciting, but still pretty cool as far as the cover art goes. And then on the back you have Henry and Shinobu, and then you have a list of all the, the tracks that they've remixed. There's a... Um, actually, it looks like maybe there's one that isn't a remix, and that's Philistine, which is Margaret Moonlight's theme, and it's the U.S. version. There's a couple different versions of that, depending on which region you're playing. There's a European one, I think, and then a Japanese one. Um, but then, yeah, there's the No My Heroes 1.5, and then apparently some sort of special promotion video on the DVD as well. Um, so inside... We have the No More Heroes 1.5 DVD, and then the uh, mini soundtrack there with Matt Helms on the front of it, which is an interesting uh, assassin to pick for that, I think, because he's maybe not the most memorable of the assassins in the second game, but he's definitely one of the more challenging ones early on, so that's kind of cool. And then inside the, um, the game case, actually, now that I'm thinking of that, I'm going to drop the manual there. The um, game disc does have the No More Heroes Crash Star on it, and then the manual has the uh, Bizarre Jelly Girls on the front, and you flip it open, got your health and safety warnings, blah, blah, blah. There's a little shot of Mimi, how to use the nunchuck and the uh, classic controller combinations, blah, 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 going through that. Let me just jump ahead. And then we have a little bit of a comic, actually, uh, in here describing the uh, sort of build up to No More Heroes 2, where Bishop's still uh, around here, the beginning. Talks about him fighting, Travis fighting Shinobu uh, in the first game. There's the controls for the two uh, setups there. And then your heads up display, uh, how the battle system works, all your possible actions that you can do. Wow, there's a lot in this. Uh, dark side mode, which is your like power ups and stuff. The menu panel, uh, some of the items that Travis can buy. Holy cow! Uh, another little comic there from the start of the game. Travis's room, Santa destroy, and then some of the main characters. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in here. That's crazy. And then on the back, uh, oh, that's the okay. That's the club from uh, the second game where. Well, this, I mean this game, rather, but where Sylvia uh, is in the future. And I didn't even realize that before, but the club is called Heaven Smile, which is a nod to Killer7. I don't know how I didn't catch that before, but it's one of those games where the more times I play it, the more stuff I pick up on. And then finally, we have the No More Magazine. And at the front here, we have... Henry and Shinobu and Margaret. Uh, this thing isn't that thick. It's just kind of a thin little booklet. That you, but the, the cover is very nice. It's very uh, glossy sort of look to it. On the back, we just have Travis with his uh, beam katana facing down. And then inside, we have a list of contents that I can't read. And then there's Travis and Sylvia. Uh, this is actually his concept art from the first game, when he looked even more like Johnny Knoxville. Uh, fun fact, that actually is who he's designed after, in case uh, you weren't aware. He is actually designed after Johnny Knoxville. Uh, there's Shinobu and Henry from the first game. Travis from the second game. Sylvia. I'm going to see if I can find some of the more exciting ones. I don't want to spoil everything in here for people who, you know, haven't, uh, maybe haven't played the game or, or haven't, uh, have any interest in getting this, but uh, there's there's some cool ones of Matt Helms and uh, New Destroy Man. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. There's some cool ones of the uh, the new motorcycle that I don't think has an actual name. Oh no, wait, it does. It says Speltiger 2. Okay, I didn't think that one actually had a name uh, because the Speltiger was the name of the 
motorcycle, motorcycle in the first game, uh, but I didn't think the one in the second game had one. Uh, there's the Glastonbury, the uh, Santa Death Parade, the Rose Nasty and the Peony, uh, Kimmy Howell, Dr. Let's Shake, Chloe Walsh, and uh, yeah, I got a couple other characters there in the back, and then we have a message from Suda51, No More Heroes Not Dead, signed Suda. This man is crazy. I love him. Um, anyways, that's pretty much it for this unboxing. I'm pretty pumped to have this now. I can't play it on my Wii because I don't have a Japanese Wii, but that's okay. I already have a copy of the U.S. version, and so I'll play that, and this will be more of a collector's item for me, and uh, I just was in it more for the contents than the actual game, obviously, because I already have one. Uh, but yeah, this is a really cool collection if you're a huge fan of No More Heroes like me. Uh, I definitely recommend taking a look into it because it's it's really not nearly as expensive as a lot of other imports or a lot of other special editions, but you do get quite a bit here in terms of the contents and the variety and all that. So that's pretty much it for this video, and with that, I will see you guys next time. Just one quick thing before I go here. Uh, I'm not associated with the person who sold me this in any way, uh, but I was really happy with the, the price for the product and the way that it uh, you know, came real fast and, and how it's handled and everything. Um, so if anyone else is interested in Japanese import games, I'll throw uh, their uh, info on the screen here real quick. Uh, they have a number of other uh, games on their eBay and on Amazon through their merchant account, um, but it's Kazuki Sugiyama, and you can look them up on both eBay and Facebook. And if you're interested in other import games like this one, uh, give them a, give them a look-see.